Hey Lee, it's uh, Rock here. I got your post at uh, the Optimal Thread about the uh, you know the bicep, the uh, tricep, the forearm, and the fingers, and the importance of those uh, four things during the golf swing. So I wanted to give you you know my thoughts on on that and and how I see it. So let me uh, demonstrate with a little swing. So so basically, you know, with 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 the uh, during the golf swing, you know, you start out with, you know, a, you know, pretty much, you know, a straight arm, and then when you start to uh, to bend your arm, to bend the right arm during the back swing, uh, you know, to do that, your bicep has to contract. So this part of your arm has to contract. During the down swing, you know, the the right arm is going to straighten. So to get the right arm to straighten. The uh, tricep has to contract here. So, okay. So bicep makes it makes the arm bend. Tricep makes it straight. So you know, on the left arm, it's fairly straight throughout the you know throughout the uh, back swing and and in, in through impact. And then uh, you know after impact, the left arm folds into the side and and then it starts bending. So uh, as it bends, uh, the bicep you know has to fire it, contract, and, and make that left arm bend. So that's kind of how I see the bicep and triceps during a swing. Now you know the forearms, wrists, and fingers. Uh, you know to to get the hand to move. You know for to, for the right hand, for example. You know to get the the right hand to pronate. Uh, you know, it's the forearms. You know, forearms make that thing, make that right right hand pronate, and also makes it supinate. Okay, so the wrists, you know, make can make you know make the wrist, uh, you know, cup or bow. So cup or bow, and 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 it can make the right wrist, uh, you know, uncock or cock. So uncock is this way, and and uh, and cock the wrist is this way. So, uh, you know, so that's that's kind of what controls the hand movement and what makes it move in those those three ways. Okay. Now the fingertips, you know, those that's what you know how you hold the golf club. So, so the fingertips, you know, I hold it, you know, right, uh, you know, right above above the, this joint on each finger, and that's that's what I feel. During the swing, so when I'm swinging, I feel the fingertips on on you know the majority of my fingers. I'd say you know primarily the uh, you know these three fingers in the left hand. So you know so the uh, pinky ring middle finger of the left hand or the lead hand, and then on on the other hand, I feel it on you know on the pinky uh, uh, ring and middle of of the uh, of the rear hand or the right hand, so I use I'm using a reverse overlap grip right now. So my trigger finger in my left hand is is laying on top, and and you know the uh, the thumb and and the uh, the trigger finger on the uh, rear hand or right hand is is not. I don't feel like it's a lot in play, but what I do feel is you know this butt pad right here on on my. Uh, Rear hand or right hand is what what I feel during the swing. So so now let's put tie it kind of tie it all together. So you know during the swing when you set up you're you're in this position. So both the arms are straight. Now if I straighten up and show it, you know this is what it looks like. Um, you know both my arms are straight. You know they're they're out like this. There's not a lot of bend in either arm. Okay, my wrists are relatively neutral, and uh, I'm not, you know, pronating or supinating either hand. So now, you know, when I get, when I go back, I go back, get to the top of my backswing. Now, if I straighten up and show it, what you see is now, you know, my right arm is bent. So to do that, my bicep had to fire to bend that arm like that. So it had to, had to contract. 
I got my left arm fairly straight. Now you can see my wrists and my forearms have activated and they've moved into, you know, the top of backswing position. So, you know, I'm feeling it with my fingertips. That's kind of where I feel the connection of the club in the fingertips, like I said before. So you can see that, you know, my right elbow is off the side here. It's bent, like I said, and it's pretty much in line with the outside of my body here. Okay, so now I go, I go back and I come through in the impact, straighten up and look at it. So now you can see, you know, the club's pretty much in the center of my body. Now the club is pointing out to the right, pretty much at a, I don't know, 30 to 45 degree angle, out to the right. Uh, you know, my right, my right elbow, right arm is still, is bent, it's right into the side now. So, top of the backswing, it was like this, now it's in here. Okay, an impact. So there, top of backswing there, an impact. My left arm is, is pretty still straight, and it's, it's, uh, the elbow is away. Alright, so now, when I, when I come into impact, I get into the follow through, now, if I straighten up and, and show that, so what you see now is my right arm is straightened up. It's not totally straight, but it has straightened up. So for, for that straightening to occur, my tricep had to fire. And now my left arm is starting to bend. It's into the side. Uh, my, right, my right elbow is away from the side. So my left arm is, is bending, so the bicep had to contract for that to happen. All right, so then I get all the way through into my finished position. I straighten that up and show it. So now both my arms are bent. Um, you can see they're both bent. They're both about equally away from the side of my body. So they're both bent. And, and you know basically both the biceps are contracted at the end of the at end of the swing. So so what I feel like during the swing is I can definitely feel I can feel the bicep the bicep and tricep on both arms working throughout the swing to make the swing happen. Now you know when you when you get into here and you're right into there, into your release position, and you straighten that out and look at it, what you see is, you know, the, the right arm really bent, the left arm straight. Now, I have to get from that position to, to impact, which is, is like that. So that's primarily a forearm and wrist movement. Definitely feel the forearms and wrists activating and moving and it's, you know, it's being directed by my fingertips. I feel like the fingertips are doing everything. That's what I feel. The whole, you know, the fingertips are, are definitely, uh, you know, the point that I have a connection to the club and that's what's pressing very, fairly hard into the club to, to, to make the, that happen. The other thing that I, I, you know, that I'm doing to make that happen is, is, you know, my hands, are, are twisting apart. So, so here's my address position, and when I get the impact, it's, it's like this. So my hands are twisting apart. It's with the fingertips pushing against the shaft that makes them twist apart. And when you do that, that makes, when you do that, that makes your, your left wrist bow and your right wrist bend and, th and that, that's what enables you to get into impact and really have control of that club face. So you're hitting it back here. In this, you know, if I'm straight up, I'm hitting it back here. Address is here. I'm hitting here. But I'm, I'm getting my hands to twist away. And when you twist them away, you can see your thumb. When you're like this, and you twist away your thumb, goes like that, okay, so that address 
it's like this, and then when you twist away, thumb, thumb goes like that. So hopefully you can see this. So a dress is like this, and an impact it's like that. So a dress, impact, a dress, impact, okay? Dress, impact, dress, impact. All right, so so why do you do that? So again, every all that's controlled by the wrists and forearms, but I, I definitely use my fingertips to make all that happen. So when I release the hands, I release, yeah, I'm downstairs. So, Jason? yeah. Sorry. So, so I, when I get down in here, I, I twist my hands apart and and when I do that I keep twisting and then my left arm folds okay so my left arm folds my right arm extends and then I get into my my follow-through position so it's like all right so that's what I feel about the golf swing, you know, specifically about what you said with the, uh, the uh, you know, bi the bicep, the tricep, the forearms, and the fingertips, and how they work during my golf swing. So, yes, I agree with you. Those are definitely very important in the golf swing. I definitely spent a lot of time uh, uh, working on that, understanding the movement, these complex movements. Of of my you know of my uh, wrists and forms, how they operate during the swing, how to control the forces, and uh, I definitely can feel you know my biceps and triceps working during the swing. I think there's a sequence to it during the swing. I don't think you want to uh, you know like really contract a muscle at any point during the swing. I think that your bicep and tricep on both arms have to work. In concert with each other during the whole swing, and keep keep you know keep moving and keep supple and and not tight, just kind of a supple movement. You know, if you grab the club with your fingertips, I think that helps with getting a nice supple, you know, smooth motion through the swing. So that's kind of how I feel like with the biceps and triceps. I don't, you know, I've seen some guys, you know, try to get in here and they try to, you know, contract and hold a position and hold a position. But the problem with that is what happens when you stop holding, when you stop contracting that muscle and it straightens. You're not going to get a nice smooth uh, swing. It's not going to be consistent time after time after time. So, so I really believe that it's, it's a coordinated motion that happens between you know the the biceps triceps you know forearms uh wrists you know fingers hands all that during the swing so glad you brought that up and i i just wanted to give you uh you know my thoughts on it uh thanks a lot buddy i appreciate the uh the response and you can see i got a a boot on my right leg i hurt my uh uh fascia of my uh right calf uh, during a basketball game, I was running down the floor, and it tore it. And um, you know, I'm out for six to eight weeks to to uh, let it you know rest for three weeks and then rehabilitate it. But six to eight weeks, I should be back back in the game, ready to go again. So um, I think it's a good thing for me. You know, obviously my body's telling me something, uh, and you know, it's very rare for me to get an injury and. Uh, so I'm going to take this time to you know, reevaluate uh, what I've been do, what I've been doing, excuse me, and uh, make sure that um, you know that I'm able to uh, stay healthy from now on, or do everything I can to stay healthy. So, hope everything's going uh, great for you and your family. And thanks for everything, Lee. Really appreciate it.